I hope guys you went through the four animations and you eased all the keyframes, used the speed graph and the value graph, and you made this animation really quite eased and smooth all the way. If you open the project file, interpolation challenge final.aap, you'll find out that all the projects here I tried to easy ease them. I mean, the best way I know, right guys? And uh, some of them are pretty cool. Like this one, I did very nicely. I tried. Okay, not bad. And the old times also, I was very simple here. I just easy eased everything. So together, let's do the flood animation. Now let's start with the top news and its background. I will select all the keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Come to the graph over here. Now I cannot work possibly with the scale and rotation in the same graph. The scale has to be in the value graph. So I will press Ctrl or Command on the Mac and deselect the rotation. Here you are. Then of course I will go to the value graph for the scale. I will zoom in a bit more. Now, what you can do is to take these two keyframes, position the timeline indicator where you want to create this bump. So I'm going to create a bump. So it's going to go bigger, then smaller. Notice how it's going to do. Okay, it goes bigger and then comes back smaller. Here you are. Okay, it's cool. I like this animation. I like this bump. And it's very much used also on TV as you can see it. Here you are. Not bad. It's cool. Now, for the rotation, if I select only the rotation, I'll have to go to the speed graph. Don't play with the rotation from the value graph. You will end up having the square, you know, on a certain position. That's not really cool. Go to the speed graph. And here you are. You can play with the rotation just like this. Okay, maybe give it some more time. Okay, something like this. Let's see how it looks. Press space bar to play. Not bad. I will deselect to see how it's happening. Go back to the beginning. Play. Not bad. It's cool. Okay, let's go back to our keyframes and uh, now let's start working with the other layers. We have here the August and uh, its background, Tanzania, that's the place, and its background. Fine. Let's uh, set uh, the time indicator. I'll press B for beginning and N for end. So I'm working only in this space over here. Let's uh, select all the keyframes now together. Okay. For the four layers, press F9 to easy ease them. I will stop the animation just over here and go to the graph. Now, for the opacity, I will deselect and select the opacity. Here. The opacity, you can play with it, but really it needs some time to show. Otherwise, the viewer will not see it. You notice what's happening and it settles. Okay, it's cool, but it's not that, you know, visible. But the scale here, you can play with it again. You can go to the value graph for the scale. For the scale here, you have two charts. You have the green one, which is for the Y axis, and you have the red one for the X axis. The graph is split here, and you can see two of them because there is no change on the Y axis. Only the values on the X axis are changing. That's why you have two graphs. Now you can select over here and try to play with the handles. From time to time, you might select the green one instead of the red one or the one that is not changing in values. Now, this is a cool animation just like this. You notice what's happening. It's just coming up smoothly. That's one way to do it. You can also select them back and create the bump if you like to. But I'm going to create one that is very smooth. Something just like this. Okay. Notice how it's going to go. It's going to come in, grow a bit, and go back. But it's very smooth. Let's play it. Yeah, you see it? It's so nice. Okay, I like that. Let's go back to our keyframes, and now we have the other part here. I will click on the work area and just drag it over here, and then make it bigger. So we can work with all these keyframes just over here. Here you are, notice? Okay, so I'll select these keyframes, all of them, press F9 to easy ease them. Cool. Let's go to the graph, and we're working with position here. Of course, you want to switch to the speed graph. So usually, this is the method of working. It's practically very easy. Now here, we have the two text layers and the background. From here, you can decide, okay, you want to work on the three of them. I wouldn't do that. I will take them, you know, piece by piece, meaning the text first and then the background itself. For the text, I'm going to do something like this. Select them and move it over here. Right. I'm going to make the work area a bit bigger. 
and then select the last keyframes only and then click and just drag them over here now that's what's going to happen here they're going to settle very nicely okay give it time to render i would deselect you notice how they're settling very nicely i'm going to choose all of them so i can see the graph for the text also the position here you need to do it the very right way otherwise you know the text will come before the background so first of all let's uh, do it the same okay so we have this curve then we want to take it just over here okay and let's try it first well we still cool so the background is coming in before the text and you're cool they are all settling so actually this is the way to work it's very easy and very simple let's go back to the keyframes extend back the work area zoom back in here you are stop it at five seconds i press n and let's play now the animation has changed a bit and it's much smoother it's much nicer the viewer you know likes it a bit more maybe you should adjust the timing of these layers some things are coming very late like the lower thirds is coming very late so you adjust it you play with it you make it smooth and this is the work now for every animation you should come and play with the graph editor with the speed graph and the value graph and make your animations very smooth sometimes it's very important to create an attractive animation thank you very much for listening i will see you in the next lecture and hope you're having a lots of fun with the graph editor see you then